Hey everybody, this is Fredo11. So, um, I've done these videos, I've actually done this video like three times today, but for some reason YouTube actually wasn't letting me upload the video. I don't know why. So, it's finally here, Kyberlite. Um, so I did the earlier reviews, and I'm actually kind of glad the video failed. No. I say that because I actually had a chance to go out and test this with regular people. So I kind of got a feel for, like, how Kyberlite, like, works and how it handles. And honestly, I think it's, there we go. So I think while the color change is really cool, um, I'm gonna just going to do a really, just really quick overview. The different colors, yes, they are kind of... I don't know. I don't know what this is, but it looks like really just dark. But um like the different colors are really cool. I do have a negative about the about Kyberlite though, and that is um to start I'll I'll cover one negative that I personally dislike first. And I'm going to switch back to green, which is I think my favorite, green or red because it's very vibrant. Um the first of all is is Kyberlite doesn't actually have any foil in their blades. Um, they don't have any diffusion foil. So what that means is, is the blade's light is not evenly distributed. That means it is super bright at the base, and it really mellows out after about this point up. Like, then the whole blade is green. That is not necessarily a bad thing. Um, it does kind of irk, and if you're in a bright setting, like, the LEDs are very, are, they're not super dim, but if you're in a brightly lit area, I don't know how well they are going to hold up as opposed to Saber Forge, um, which has the 12 watt LEDs plus, like, they have their new LEDs versus, um, or even, uh, Ultra Saber, which has the, I don't remember what it's called, but it's the, what is it? I don't remember what it's actually called. Okay, I'm gonna switch to red. There we go. So this is Kyberlite's red. This is Saberforge's red. Um, you you can kind of see on camera like, <laughs> yeah, this illuminates this wall, which is directly behind the webcam. Um, Saberforge illuminates most of the room. Um, you can actually see like it's it's much much brighter. Like that being said, though. Um, that doesn't mean that Kyberlite Saber is a, or that doesn't mean Saber Forge is a better saber. Um, because there's a lot more than just light. For starters, I can get sound on this, which is amazing. I fucking love the sound. Um, and the other thing that I really like about this, aside from the sound, is Well, that's, that's the one negative, is the dim, the dimness of the blade. The blade is kind of dim, which may not like, some people may not like, but I would also say that's why they make day blades, is so that you can use stuff like that, and you can just walk around during the day. Um, and just be aware that compared to some of the brighter sabers out there, Kyber lights, not the brightest. Now that being said, the colors that there are are very vibrant, so in a dark room, like, my room isn't the best lit, but it's not the darkest either. So, in a, like, actually outside at night, it's going to show up decently well. Not necessarily against a brighter saber, but they, they, the colors are there, for the most part. Except for that one weird one. Um, so that is one negative. Um, the, I, I can't really think of another one. Um, so on to the positives. The positives. Um, one of the things that I really like, and... I'm, I'm gonna send this to Saberforge or to Kyberlite first to make sure they can get a look at it so that they can see, make sure I don't do anything wrong. But, um, this is my Saberforge ASP or modular system lightsaber. Now, this looks to me more like a lightsaber that is in the movies than Kyberlite's does. That being said, though, this saber is not the most comfortable to hold. It is not the most comfortable to actually, like, you can see I'm opening my hand here. 
like I can actually do that with this hilt. I can't do that with this one because Saberforge leaves sharp edges on their hilts. While this, I feel, looks more like a realistic lightsaber, as a martial artist in our world without lightsabers, this is more comfortable to use, it feels better, and on top of that, it has a heft to it that makes me feel confident. Um, with some of the other sabers, I've noticed that sometimes it doesn't feel very good, like as if it could break. That is not the case with Kyber Light. Like, these, this is thick. This is like a solid hilt. Um, and when I connected the staff together, I immediately, because I actually did get the staff connection. So, but when I created the staff, I was like, oh my gosh, this is amazing. And so, like, that is definitely a huge positive, is the thickness and the quality of the hilt. Um, there are, aren't, there's one sharp edge that I found, and it's the socket where you screw, um, that top socket. Can you see it? Dead center there. He's watching you. Um, that, the edges of that are slightly sharper than they should be. That is the only sharp edge I could find on this saber. That's impressive. And the other thing, too, is because of the size of this saber, like, having to work around the uh, the Convertex knob, which you can remove, removing the Convertex knob, it actually isn't that bad. Like, I can hold this comfortably. And when I was using the saber staff, I didn't even touch the knobs. Like, they weren't a big deal. With this, I actually had to remove the knob to be able to hold the saber the way that it was intended. And, I mean, I do like this saber, don't get me wrong, because I made it myself. I was part of the Kickstarter. Um, but that's enough comparison, so I'm going to set that down now. So, that is definitely a positive. I like how big the hilts are. I like how sturdy they are. Um, and, they're, and I mean, lightsabers were created by Jedi and Sith alike to do any number of things in any different ways. Kyber Light is making them as they see fit. So, there is a Jedi that could have made a saber that looks exactly like this. There is a Sith that could have made a lightsaber that looks exactly like this. So, I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. I prefer Saber Forge's appearance. However, Kyber Light I feel the most comfortable using and sparring. And I actually can't wait for to meet Saturday with my uh, the group that I teach because I really want to try this out. And I actually want to use it in a sparring setting. And I won't be able to until then. So that being said, this... Um, so what's another advantage? Um, the customer service. The customer service for Kyber Light is unlike anything I've ever seen. Now, I've shared in videos past um, when it was Saber Forge versus Ultra Saber about how I didn't have bad experiences with the customer service with either company. Um, I felt Ultra Saber did mess up orders more um, than Ultra Saber did. Ultra Saber only messed up once. But both companies went out of the way to make sure that it was taken care of, the problem was taken care of, I was satisfied as a customer, and they didn't try to, like, overcharge me for stuff. Now, that being said, Kyberlite, I am astounded. I'm actually going to show something, and this is kind of why I'm sending it to Kyberlite first, because I asked them about one thing. They actually did two things for me, and they asked me not to share the first one, so I can't share the first one. But the second one... Um, I'm going to hide my information. How do I... Oh, I can just hold it down. That's right. Okay, hang on. Sorry about that. <laughs> Should have done this sooner. There we go. Okay. So, do you see where it says 236-inch blades? I actually was in contact with, I believe her name was Melissa... No, I have a friend who's Melissa. I don't remember what her name was now. It was an M name. Let me bring up my email. Madison. That's right. Her name's Madison. I just remembered. My email hasn't finished loading yet. Okay. Yeah, so Madison, super helpful. Um, I actually placed my order on December 25th, which is one of their busiest seasons. So that's why it took so long to get to me, which... That was totally my fault, so, and I was, I am a very impatient person, so Madison, thank you for dealing with my impatience. Um, but one of the things that Madison did was I was asking her a lot of questions because I'm a bigger guy. I am 6'1", 
And on top of that, I'm a fairly, um, I don't know how to say it. I, I'm, a, I'm a solid build. I'm, I'm stocky, but because I'm 6'1", it doesn't look that I'm stocky. So I have really wide shoulders. I've got long arms. Um, I have really long legs. So, like, I look stocky, but I don't at the same time. It's really weird. But I'm a bigger guy. I like having a, a weapon with longer reach. And the one saber staff that I got was from Ultra Saber, and it was a 32-inch blade, which was fine because I wanted to be able to let students practice with it, and a 32-inch would fit more people than um, a 36-inch, which would fit suit me just fine. So I asked Melissa, you know, what do you think about, should I get the 32-inch blade, should I get the 36-inch blade? And I'll be honest, I, I did have ulterior motives with this. Um, I was getting really impatient, and I asked, um, I was asking because I wanted to get some feedback from Kyberlite, just to keep my own sanity. And so she basically was saying along the lines of, well, the 32-inch blades are default blades, but we can send 36-inch blades free of charge if you want. It's like, oh, that's really cool, but on second thought, you know, the 32-inch blades are fine, because I actually have two spare Saber Forge lightsaber blades that are 36 inches that I could have just popped in there if I needed to. Um, but like I just showed you, they actually included the two 32 inch blades or 36 inch blades for free. I didn't ask them to, I didn't request them to, they just did. Um, and before, like, if, please don't get into a tizzy over this, guys, because with companies like Kyberlite, and, like, where, where you're running your own business, like, you can't always cut deals for every person that walks in the door. But at the same time, like, you can still try for as many people as you can. It comes down to circumstance. It comes down to stance. So that's the thing. It's, like, you have to be careful because, personally, I am astounded by their generosity. Um, on top of that, like, if you go and look at Ultra Saber or Saber Forge, um they don't really have very good deals normally. Like, I think Ultra Saber once a year has a percent discount off of their stuff. But for the most part, they don't do it. Saber Forge, um, while I like their sabers, I, I kind of feel it's they do the same thing. Like, they don't really have good deals very often. You just have to pay full price and deal with it. Kyberlite had, for over a month and a half, about a month and a half, had a 15% off everything, flat rate. So the Saber, instead of costing 200 which comes with sound, costs 160 something I think it was. Plus they ship with UPS instead of USPS or FedEx. So shipping was $8 instead of $20 with Ultra Saber. So, like, I mean, just in terms of cheapness, Ultra Saber still... Well, I, I shouldn't compare. So customer service, Kyberlite far and beyond any of the other competition, blows everyone else out of the water. Um, I like the sound, but I can't fairly review this because I have never had any other sabers that have sound in them. So I can't give a fair review because I, I haven't had sound before. Um, that being said, I need to get in the shower here soon. I've got uh, stuff to do tonight. So that being said, um, I mean, stand above quality or durability um i haven't had a chance to test the blades they have a i think it's a lifetime warranty on blades let me bring up kyber light to make sure i'm not talking out of my ass here um oh i have their hang on warranty so all the blades and tips come with a lifetime warranty yeah so if the blade ever breaks because you're using it it's a lifetime warranty they'll replace it for free um so you do have to send it back so i don't know if you have to pay shipping the hilt and electronics come with a one-year warranty. So if it's damaged or broken, if it's damaged or broken within one year, due to normal use, including combat, we'll replace or repair it for free. Water damage or intentional abuse is not covered. Which, I mean, if you're trying to break the hilt, they're not going to replace it. So, but, um, so yeah, it's, I mean, the customer service is fantastic. The warranty is great. Comes with sound, comes with multiple colors. Personally, I'm very happy with this. And honestly, like, the weight of this, when it's a saber staff, 
is phenomenal. I love it. And I'm probably not going to use anything else for a Saber Staff. I did with Ultra Saber once, and I'll never make that mistake again. So, out of the three lightsabers that I currently have, Ultra Saber, Saber Forge, and Kyber Light, Kyber Light is by, like, Kyber Light is one of my favorites. Um, Saber Forge is really high up there because of the, like, it's, it's more of an emotional, like, nostalgia, not nostalgia, but it's more of an emotional connection because I was part of the Kickstarter for their ASP modular lightsaber design. So, like, I actually created that, and as of the Kickstarter, I may be the only person that has that particular design. Now that the Kickstarter's been over for a while and ASP has been out for a bit, probably not. Not anymore. But I was the only one that made that hilt. So, the emotional connection was there. For a saber staff or single blades, though, this is phenomenal. Like, it... It works, and I can't wait to use it. I can't wait to practice with it. So those are the only real flaws that I can think of. Um, there was one thing that um, I did see as a potential danger, and that was, I'm not putting this under the negatives, though, because of how helpful customer service is being. Here's why. The box actually says Kyberlite on the side, so it's obvious that there's something inside. Um, so if you're in a high-risk area for packages being stolen, like, be careful. But A, I, and I didn't put this on the negatives, because A, Kyberlite chips via UPS. UPS you can leave custom instructions for, and they'll follow them. So you can make a signature, like you have to sign for it. Um, or you have to have custom ID. You know, you, you can do that. Um, the other thing is, is... I'm sure you could talk to Saberforge themselves, and they would find some way around, like, the obvious packaging. They may even ship it plain for you, though a package that size, if someone sees it out, they're probably going to steal it anyways. So, kind of a catch-20 there. So, anyways, I've got to get moving because I've got a movie night to go to. So, thanks for watching, guys. Um, this has been a review of Ky my experiences so far with Kyberlite. I was not paid in any way to do this. I was not bribed. I was not given free merchandise. Kyberlite has honestly just been amazing. Um, they did not know that I was going to be doing a review on this until, like, after they did a lot of the stuff for me that saved me money, which, I mean, they are phenomenal with that. So, um, great job, guys. Madison, in particular, thank you very much for dealing with a very impatient, childish... Um, customer who is me I'm I'm the type of person that when it's Christmas Eve I couldn't sleep because I was so excited and so I would have to like pretend that I didn't care just to trick myself into going to sleep so the weight was killing me Madison thank you for putting up with my impatience during that time Kyberlite thanks for an amazing saber I'm really looking forward to using it so um that's it Right now, um, you guys won't be able to see this when it goes out. I'm actually going to put it under Unlisted and send it to Kyberlite um, just to make sure that, you know, there aren't any problems with the video. And if they are, I may have to redo the review. So this may be Unlisted. You guys may see it because if Kyberlite gives me the go-ahead, I'll make it public again. So I may see you in this episode. I may have to, or I may see you in this review. I may have to make another review for you, though. So we will see you guys in the next whatever I make.